Take off your idols. Take off the runway. Take off the Cairo. Take off the Sandro. Pay five days, day. Take off the new and the filing. Take off the fuck flag. Take off perception. Take off the cop with the hot pad. Take off the hunger. Take off the unsure. Take off the solutions. I'm mad. Take off the fuck flag. Take off perception. Take off the cop with the hot pad. Take off the hunger. Take off the unsure. Take off the solutions. I'm mad. Hi, what is happening? It's another day in paradise. We are here at the Fort Lauderdale. Where are we actually? We're at the <laughs> so we're at Bahia Mar here at Fort Lauderdale. We're going out to one of these big ass yachts in the background to uh, get some footage for one of our clients. The goal of today is to be able to capture some more monthly content for their YouTube channel to get some other video assets that we can use in other aspects of their online funnel, whether it's online ads, social media, etc. Overall, just crush it. You know, that's what we do. We make bangers only. God damn right. So we got the squad in the background. We'll be here a couple hours. I'm gonna capture as much as I can to show you guys, first off, this awesome yacht, about 170 feet, I think. And then just kind of like more of what we're doing behind the scenes, some of the equipment we're using, how we actually run the shoots. So stay tuned. Y'all don't want to miss this wall. But all right, this is the uh, location for today's shoot. We're jumping up on this thing. Freaking gorgeous fed ship yacht. Gonna wipe my shoes. Let's get it. All right, so we just got here. We are working on getting set up. This is kind of like the beginning of every single shoot. We roll up, we talk with the client, we schmooze them a little bit, you know, say what's going on, how's life. And then uh, we'll take like 30 minutes or so just to get all the gear set up. Um, we have the drone going up right now because it is supposed to rain. So we're trying to get that before it does. And then we're trying to get any of this outdoor B-roll of these installs before it rains again, knowing we can always film the speaking things inside once it's pouring out and be able to make the video come together. So we're gonna keep getting set up. I'm gonna put this drone up real quick to make sure we don't crash. And uh, we'll keep you guys posted as we go, please. I lost it a while back, but what happened was I found I can like pin my spots a lot better when I just like hit here. So I always have this one. I like this one more, but I still don't use it as much. I use like the side to keep my thumbs and then I try to do like three different axis motions. So I'm always trying to do these two plus the dial and that's like going to be the best shot. And then my other favorite thing with the Mavic 3 specifically is the 7X zoom like this just gives you a different perspective and see us there. But it just gives such a different perspective than like all other drone shots. So it makes it look just so, so far. It's hard to keep it stable and moving, but like, come on, baby, look at that. So here's the difference, 7X to 1X. And then you can go as far as like 28. So you want to like spy on that yacht over there. There's your 7X. Fire. Look at us. Hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. All right, so this is the install process that we're filming. See the weather, the wind's making it a lot of fun here, but we're essentially trying to just capture as much B-roll of the install as we can before we do those speaking sections. So that's what this whole time right now is about, just kind of hanging out until they get to each step in the install process. We capture it with multiple cameras, multiple different ways, and then we're able to get the other sections later. All right, so the other thing guys you'll notice is we don't have any tripod set up. We don't have any like fancy lights or anything. It lets us be incredibly mobile, especially on the boat right now, because there's a lot of the staff still working on the boat, running all around. We don't want to be taking up all the space. We don't want to be marking up the deck. And we want to be as nimble as possible because things change fast. The other thing is because this is all like YouTube content, it doesn't need to be as like perfectly polished. People like more organic content, uh, more vlog style content. We're filming it also in 120 frames so we can always slow it down if need be. And yeah, it just lets us crush and not show up with a billion things and take up all the space. So we don't need it, you know, just keep it simple. All right, guys, real quick. Just quick gear breakdown. This is one of the main cams we're using today. It's an A7S3. It's pretty much the main camera body that we use for all of our shoots. Everyone that we work with more or less has this camera or the equivalent. We like this because it shoots interviews in 4K. It shoots great B-roll in 120. 
It's really fast autofocus. So we stick with that. We do have a couple A7Threes still as well. If you guys don't have the budget yet to buy something like this and all the lenses and whatnot, keep in mind, you can always rent these for not that much online. I always go to lensrental.com. They have great selections there. That's only like a couple hundred bucks. So you can rent it. Like you can sell a shoot, rent the gear you need. Hey, imagine that package the pricing in for the gear you need to do the shoot and help that client and still be able to crush it, get some experience working with better equipment. We rarely film on like reds or anything like that. The majority of the content that we're doing is for online and social. So we don't need it nearly as much as like if we were doing a full length movie or something like that. It helps us just keep our costs down for our clients plus camera operators and stuff, as well as just makes it a lot easier to work with the footage long-term and still get everything that we need. And you'll see, we always have a couple setups just so that if we need to switch from one camera to another, we don't need to like make the client wait five minutes while we get the camera set up on the stabilizer, balance it out, etc. Just a couple quick tips, we'll get back to it. So you guys in later. Usually oh, this thing would cost probably seven grand to just take out in the ocean real quick with yeah. fuel. We're probably not gonna be taking this boat out today, but usually what we'll do is after we do an install, we wanna get some of that boat in action and the lifestyle content. People don't buy like products or services, they buy that end experience. So why are they getting a product like this? It's to enjoy more time on their boat without needing to worry about maintenance. So we wanna be able to capture that as much as possible. We're still gonna get some drone stuff. We can't take the boat out, but just, get creative with it. The more video content that we can get that we can use in various ads, videos, whatever it is, just different styles of boats that they do, the better. So anytime they have a unique install that we haven't captured yet, we're trying to come out here and get that so we can kind of add it to their overall content library that we have for them and just like work smarter over a long term versus consistently needing to come out and do tons of shoots. We can repurpose and reuse a lot of this footage for other things down the road.